Ciao e benvenuto! I'm Valentina Stella, native Italian tutor, and in today's video we're going to learn how to correctly pronounce the open E sound in Italian. So in the previous video we learned that we never ever pronounced this vowel like in English, so never say E for this vowel. But we also learned that we actually have two different sounds linked to this spelling, and they are called closed E and open E. And in that video, we learned how to correctly pronounce the closed E sound, and we also practiced that with some Italian words that contain that sound. So if you missed that video, please go watch that and practice that with me, because that's going to help you getting the most out of this one and the following one. So if you haven't watched that, I'm going to leave the link to that video in the description box down below. So now let's practice the open E. As the name suggests, in Italian it's called E aperta, open E. As the name suggests, the mouth in this sound is more open. So when you pronounce the open E, we, our mouth is more open. It's kind of wide open. And your tongue is on the bottom of your mouth. It rests on the bottom of your mouth. So these are the two key elements. Remember, when we practice pronunciation, it's very important that you are aware of how you're moving your mouth and your tongue. And so I want you to remember, open your mouth wide open and keep your tongue on the bottom of your mouth, resting there. So like this. E. 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 Okay, why don't you now practice that with me? So repeat after me. E, 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 e. Molto bene, perfetto. So if you have already practiced the previous video about the closed E, the closed e you will start noticing a difference. There's a, it's very different how we move our mouth and how, where we place our tongue. And that's what makes the different sound. So now we're going to practice this with some real words that contain, the, that contain this sound. But first, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It, it really means a lot to me to know that you're finding these videos helpful. And I will make more if you want, if you want them, if you like them. Also, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're going to be notified whenever I post a new video of this series or any other video to help you learn and improve your Italian. Okay, let's practice the pronunciation for the open E. The first word that contains that sound is the word that we use for to say it is. E. Repeat after me. This is just the sound that we practice together. E. E. Perfetto. The word for grass. Erba. Repeat after me. Erba. Erba. The word for blade. The blade of a helicopter. Elica. Repeat after me. Elica. Elica. The word for the verb to be, which in Italian is essere. Repeat after me. Essere. Essere. Molto bene. So let's recap what we learned today. We, re we learned, uh, we actually reviewed this concept from the previous video that we never ever pronounce the, this vowel like in English. This is never ever pronounced like E. This vowel actual, actually has two sounds. La E chiusa, closed E, and la E aperta, open E. And today we'll learn how to make the sound for the open E, la E aperta. So keep your mouth wide open and your tongue down, resting on the bottom of your mouth, and you will have the sound. So as always, guys, let's put this immediately into practice. So first of all, practice this every day, at least once per day. Feel free to come back to this video and practice that, practice that with me. 
keep also in mind it's very helpful to have a, a mirror handy so that you can check the movement of your mouth and the movement of your tongue when you're practicing this and ideally you will practice this until you will feel comfortable that you're actually making the sound that it comes natural to you and you can hear the difference also another way to put this into practice is to focus what your biggest learning from this lesson was and share that in a comment by focusing that and writing them down you're telling your brain that this is important to you and you want to remember this and so when you will see a word with e in italian your brain will actually remember that you need to make that movement movement to make the open e or the closed e okay guys that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one until then have a great day buona giornata e a presto Ciao da Valentina.